Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Phil. I'm Sam. And we've got who today? Queen and David Bowie. Two legendary, well one's a group, another one's an artist, but <laughs> I was going to say two legendary artists, that wouldn't really fit in too well, but we've got two of the greats, we'll say, going yeah. down in history on the same song. And I feel like they have such a different style, so I'm really excited to see how they bring that together. Yeah, and uh, we came across this one, trying to find a new Queen song mm. to do. And the last one that we did was Love of My Life at yep. Wembley, live performance. That was fire. Mm -hmm. So cool to see. We also did all the, the Live Queen Aid one. Queen has been incredible. Yeah, Queen's, you know, we weren't familiar with them at all before we started the channel. We've got to know them quite a bit better now, and yeah. we can understand why they're so revered over right rock now. history. Yeah. And alongside of Queen, we have David Bowie. The last song that we did was what? With uh, Ben Crosby, the Christmas one, Little Drummer Boy, and Peace on Earth. That's right. And then the one we did before that of just David Bowie was Ziggy Stardust. Yes. And uh, So we've gotten to know these, these artists a little bit better. Still a lot to learn, but we always appreciate your insights. So drop it down low. Let us know what you think about this yeah. collaboration, if it's one of the best in history. And uh, I'm excited to check out something new from Queen and... Well, I guess it says Freddie Mercury, but I'm going to assume that this is Queen and David Bowie uh, yeah. under pressure. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's go. Vanilla Ice. I know. It's that ice, <laughs> ice baby. Yeah, um, they must have sampled sam that. You must have sampled the bass line. On, I don't know what else they would have sampled dun, dun, from dun, here. Dun, dun, dun. But I know that bass line. That's I know. for sure. I was like, hey. <laughs> here and uh, run it back a little bit and get you know, that build up again that was yes. so fantastic they're and, so good yeah um the baseline really you know we talked about that in the beginning with the vanilla ice reference and yeah i see why that song actually became so popular because mm -hmm. that bass riff is so fantastic yes. yeah. and you know really sets the tone amazingly for this song um but i i obviously feel like this song is way better <laughs> yeah yeah for sure. and uh you know it's the bass line is complemented by their their vocals it's interesting as well because we talked about in the big crosby david uh, bowie 
uh, collaboration there that you know Bing Crosby his voice was so deep right mm -hmm. and you know powerful and we were saying you know that complemented together really well because David Bowie's came in a little bit higher on the register yep. but you can see the opposite is true in this one yep. right? David Bowie he has the deeper voice <laughs> and then Freddie Mercury has the higher voice and that's what some yeah. of you guys were saying in the commenters that naturally David Bowie is looked upon that way but it's a great compliment in this one too. I mm -hmm. mean, they're yeah, they playing off great. each other so well. Great, 100%. great duet. I mean, you know, the vocals are one thing. The instrumentation is another. That's also fantastic. So even I, like their stage presence here, I feel like they're just like owning the stage, and it's just like so entertaining as well. Yeah, but I don't think this is together. They're not doing this together. They're split. This is all oh, spliced. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't think they perform this together. Interesting. Um, I think it's just the way they put the video together. Interesting. Um, I could be wrong. You guys can let us know about. I didn't that, even but. notice that it was like two different videos. Like I'm just watching like because I'm so engaged with like them singing and like yeah. you know just watching them. And we have David Bowie wearing you know having his style that's a little more uh, representative of what we saw with Bing Bing Crosby yeah. and Ziggy Stardust. So I don't think we did the video for that one. And then in Space Oddity, obviously he mm -hmm. was <laughs> an, a like, uh, looked like an astronaut alien himself. He was Ziggy yeah. Stardust, Stardust in that one, I think. Right? Yeah. So anyway, so much different visual from David Bowie in this one. Yeah, let's run it back a little bit so we can get a little All bit right. of build up again. You ready to go again? Yeah, let's go. So slash and so energy perfectly yeah they killed it we just got a fade out on a clap snap that also killed me because like i didn't even like you said realize that it was two separate performances but they did such a good job of blending it together like they even had times where they made it look like they were on stage together yeah. but they because the overlay but yeah. it, it wasn't was but like, did you conclude the same thing yeah it, after like really looking hard but yeah. if i wasn't like really paying full attention on the video yeah. i would have never even known. i probably wouldn't have noticed earlier but i think i read a quick little blurb when uh, we were looking at a little bit of the research before true, true, we got true. into it and uh, we like to do you know a little bit of research yeah. now because we were going into some of the videos completely blind and, and missing getting what was going on in the video comments before, so. <laughs> yeah. getting slaughtered literally <laughs> taken to the slaughterhouse guys yeah. like uh, how did you not know <laughs> we were like sorry anyways so um that's what i presume to be true you guys can let us know though. yeah and, that was uh, awesome though it was great it was so vibrant so much energy that they built up throughout and then they you know, exploded in, in the back half under pressure Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very catchy. I could see why this would have done well in the charts. I presume it did as well. Yeah. And, um, you know, both of them were just so impressive vocally. 
I mean, you couldn't, you could, you'd have to listen to it, I think, a few times to really pick up on all the subtleties. Yeah, from both of them. Because I think they were using backing vocals okay. really well, but mm-hmm. to pick up on all of it throughout is going to be difficult. As well, the song messaging, you know, it seems mm-hmm. very, very uplifting. It was hard to hear all the lyrics, but yeah. talking about love and, you know, belief and, and moving forward in the right way. And, and that's, yeah. you know, great to hear, right? Kind of the themes of just life, right? The under pressure in life and things happening and persevering and coming through it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, really enjoyed this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Sorry for this uh, obnoxious construction if you can hear it uh, yes. i can definitely hear it so we didn't hear it thankfully while the great music was playing yeah no, no, no. <laughs> so we should just play queen back along. again and yeah <laughs> anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed our reaction if you did remember to hit the like button what yeah. else do they have to do before they go sam make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you do not miss a video because sometimes the algorithm likes to not show videos if you miss one or something so yeah that's right okay guys that's it from us today we'll be back tomorrow with two more videos we'll see you then thanks for watching guys